What's up guys, how y'all doing today? So today, gonna go walk again in the city, Mexico City, find out what we find, and gotta get some breakfast, man. It's late, it's 12 o'clock, I guess brunch, but uh, all right, guys, guys, there we go. All over Latin America, man. You can't escape it. You got the street vendors, the street people. Um, I think he's collecting stuff. I love it, man. In Colombia, you have that. Here, you have it as well in Mexico. Anyways, let's walk and let's go discover. Stay tuned, yeah? One of the major benefits about walking the city, like as much as I do, is after a few days, you get to learn the city. I don't need to use my Google Maps that much anymore. I, already got, I kinda know how to get around more or less. So if you want to learn a city, the best way is to get out and walk it. Get some comfortable walking shoes and just start moving. Let's go. Check out this beautiful house. Yeah, definitely walk in, uh, walking in a very nice area. Hmm. Big houses, man. This area's neighborhood is called Anzures. Anzures. Right now we're walking on Melchor Ocampo and Eje 3 PTE There's Whatever kind of name that is Alright, let's walk across the bridge Other side And get some food because I'm starving man Again, I went running this morning uh, About, I'm not sure how long but For 16 minutes just straight non-stop And now I'm gonna go walk the whole city so Gotta make up for all the food I'm eating All that good Mexican food man I actually I'm actually kind of tired of tacos. I can't believe I would, I, I would ever say that, but I've been here, I think, six days already, eating tacos every day. I want something different, so I'm gonna search for something different today. Let's go see what we can find. Across the bridge, and now we are in this section here. It actually wasn't that far of a walk from my Airbnb. Not that bad at all. One thing I noticed here in Mexico City is there's not that much homeless people. I mean, there are homeless people, obviously. But not as much as, I, as in other countries I've been to. And when I'm walking around the streets, I don't feel, I don't have that spidey sense going on that, that I should watch out for my camera or anything or, that, or like petty theft here. I'm, I don't have that sense, but I'm sure it happens, of course. But what I'm trying to say is that I remember walking in Medellin, Colombia, which I love. I love Medellin, it's my home. And I don't, I'm not afraid there either. But when I'm walking in the, in the city, people will tell me, David, or Muchacho, be careful with your cell phone. Be careful, like, put away the camera. They'll, they'll warn me. You hear nothing. Maybe, who knows? What do y'all think about that? Maybe Colombians want to warn you more than Mexicans, or, or I have no idea. But I don't have that spidey sense going off here. Anyways, stay tuned. Guys, check out this house here. So massive. These are, like, I'm pretty sure they're made into office buildings now, but these are old homes for families, 100%. Which they turn, I think it's a notary now. And there's a house right here in the corner of the two, very big. Hmm, we're almost to the food spot. Another beautiful house, I love this architecture. Very nice. I love it. This right here is calling my name. But I gotta stay strong, keep walking David. It's closed anyways. Closed down looks like, oh it's too bad. Okay, this is the place. Fonda Doña Blanca from 2010. Now. I don't know anything about it. I just looked on Google Maps. I, I researched almuerzos caseros, which means uh, home cooked lunches. I saw that picture for breakfast, so I might get breakfast. I'm not sure if they serve it still. But let me go in and try it out and let's see what it is. Now, Fonda here in Mexico, I'm guessing Fonda means like restaurant where they serve full meals, like soup and that kind of stuff, versus just tacos. So, Fonda's where you can get like a full meal. Of, mm, what, mo what most Mexicans eat at home, like home cooking meals, right? Fondas in Colombia is a place where you go drink and you sing your heart out to some music from the 60s, 70s, and 80s. That's Fondas in Colombia. Fondas in Mexico is where you go eat. Anyways, stay tuned. I'll show you what it looks like. So here's the upstairs. I didn't film downstairs because uh, uh, that's for the bathroom, but it's an old place. Not bad. And over here, I'm waiting for someone to come out of the bathroom. In the meantime, I'll, I'll show you guys what it looks like here. Upstairs, what's upstairs? Oh, what is upstairs? Ah, hmm. oh, this is an empty room. Okay, let's go back, wait for the bathroom, and I'll show you guys the food. 
So it looks like they got breakfast and packages for 70 to 80 pesos. Let's see what they what they have to offer for that package. Oh, and they're still serving. Buenas, como estas? Bien, bien. Dale. Gracias. Todavía tienen desayuno? Sí. Sí. Y tienen el menú. La carta. Gracias. Gracias, muy amable. Bueno, so that was the bus boy. I was a bus boy for a long time. I, actually, I would prefer to be a bus boy than the waiter because dealing with people, like, and having to manage all the orders and stuff, that's to me, that's just too much stress. Too much stress. <laughs> Who is a waiter? Comment below, let me know, and let me know if you guys like that or not. But I'm not a multitasker, I can't do it. Anyway, stay tuned for the food or the menu. Stay tuned. With pan dulce, guys, this is cheese, concha, uh, raspberry with cheese. Ay, which one should I choose? It solo viene con uno. Ah, ¿Cuál es lo más rico? ¿Ese? ¿Es lo más rico? Bueno, me da ese, porfa. ¿Y sabes qué? Yo tomo café. Voy a tomar café. ¿Por qué no? Gracias. Y, y voy a ver la carta a ver qué, qué es fojo. Y, el jugo, y quiero un jugo de naranja, porfa. Uh, es de botella. Ah. Tengo el jugo de la casa, papaya, guayaba y naranja. ¿Mezclado o cómo? Uh -huh. Ese, porfa. Gracias. Muy amable. All right, guys, so the package, so this breakfast, 70 or 80. So it comes with coffee or tea, juice or fruit, eh, one pan dulce, and platillo de elegir, which is chose, choose one of these plates, okay? Now, I haven't drank coffee in two weeks. Actually, wean myself off it. I'll drink a little bit. I'm not going to drink it all. Just to get the taste to eat with this uh, thing. We'll see. I don't know. They say that's an addiction, right? If you go back a little bit, you fall back deep. I, we'll see what happens. Anyways, let's look at these options. So you got huevos al gusto, huevos a la mexicana, huevos pedros. So I'm going to look at all these options here and see which one I choose, all right? And I'll be right back. Hold on. I took a bite of this without showing you guys. My bad. There it is. Raspberry jam with cheese. <laughs> Delicious. Very sweet. But also very messy. <laughs> Anyways, I'm gonna enjoy it with the coffee. I'm gonna make my choice. Stay tuned. I think I wanna get the uh, mata hambre because it has chilaquiles. I love chilaquiles. Same. Bueno, este es el especial. Es especial, muy bueno. Ah, bueno, entonces escogí bien. Me da ese, porfa, mata hambre. Mm. Con eh, sí. chilequiles rojos, porfa. Sí. Estrellado, estrellado, lo he vuelto o estrellado. Estrellado. Normalmente va a estrellar. Estrellado, sí. sí. Tierna, tierna. Gracias. There we go. I hope I've got it in film. I'm trying to film the best I can. Anyways, stay tuned for the food. I'm hungry. Pan dulce gan. Mm. So all the options that, that was in the menu, I chose the best one. Not bad. Anyways, see you on a bit. Let's try the juice. It's mixed with papaya and something else. And orange juice, papaya. And something else. Really nice though. Alright. Yeah, check it out. So it's chilaquiles, but it has a baguette with, with beans and cheese on top. And then the chilaquiles here on the bottom. Not bad. I need to get some hot sauce or what? Or some salsa. Mm. Let's eat it without salsa. I might have to change that coffee for tea. I'm, I'm not used to coffee anymore. Mm. I guess I remember when I was a kid, I, I used to not, I used to think coffee was disgusting. I think every kid did growing up, right? But then when you become addicted to it, which is an addiction, right? When you become addicted to it, it the taste comes better, it becomes better for some reason, and you crave it. But now that I haven't been drinking coffee for, for like maybe, I don't know, three weeks or so, it, does, it tastes good, but it's not like amazing like I remember it. Let's see. Let's try this bag gate. Oh, I think there is salsa on it. Good. Mm. Yes. 
All you can say is yes. Delicious. Mm-hmm. And then you got the eggs. I already saw everything. Got the eggs, baguette. Let's try the chilaquiles. Chilaquiles is one of my favorite breakfast things to eat when I'm in Mexico. The last time I've been in Mexico for this for this long, I came in Mexico in 2019, I believe, for my friend's wedding. One of my best friends from Monterey we went to Zacatecas. It was beautiful. Mm. Mm. So good. Let me know in the comments who also likes chilaquiles. But um, went to Zacatecas, beautiful. But I was only there for like a week. Now I'm, I plan to stay in Mexico for a bit, traveling around, getting to know the country more. Last time I've been in Mexico that long, uh, <clears throat> that was when I was probably back in 2005, 2006. We're in 2021 right now. So many years ago. But I have to say, I'm really enjoying Mexico, being back, you know, checking out the country and everything, and the people. It's only been a week already, but I'm enjoying it so far. Mm. This is delicious. This is why I have to run in the mornings, so I don't get too fat over here. <laughs> so good. Mm. Alright guys, stay tuned, I'm gonna finish my meal, and I'll be right back. So I just did the conversion dollars, and here, 70 pesos is $3.48, which is a good price. But in Colombia, just so you guys can understand, you guys know I do a lot of videos in Colombia, I live over there. You get a, this is, I would, I would say this is considered a cheap breakfast here, I'm not sure, let me know in the comments if it's it isn't considered a cheap breakfast or not in Mexico City but in Colombia for a cheap breakfast you, you pay a dollar sixty so it's almost almost half the price so but this lot has a lot of flavor and it's really delicious anyways let me keep eating and it's a lot more food too there's a lot more food than what you get in Colombia for that price because in Colombia you get arepa cheese um, uh, eggs and then with a the hot chocolate Anyway, stay tuned. Food done. I'll tell you what though, that was a lot of carbs. It was majority carbs in like one egg. But uh, hopefully it'll fuel me in my walk today. I really don't know where I'm gonna go, what I'm gonna discover, but as you guys know, I don't plan. I just leave the house and I just go. And oftentimes I find some pretty interesting stuff. So stay tuned for that. And let's see what we find, yeah? All right guys, breakfast done. Full belly, let's go. The thing is, I spent the last 30 minutes looking at the Google Maps, look, trying to research stuff to go see. But the city is so big. And all the stuff on Google, like the things to see in Mexico City, is mostly done by tourists. And it's mostly in areas that tourists go to. And I've already been to most of those areas, I think. I think I have. I want to go see something like the, the real Mexico City with people in the streets. Like right here, look, no, hardly anybody in the streets. No movement, hardly, hardly. So I want to go to like the real areas, right? So I'm just gonna jump on the metro, choose the station, just go to that station, come out of the station, and walk around the neighborhood. Ha, it's hard to breathe. And walk around the neighborhood around the station, see what it is. So stay tuned, let's go to the metro and see what we can find, yeah? But I'll tell you what, this side of Mexico City is very beautiful with all this the landscaping and gardens, all that good stuff. Very beautiful. I really like those balconies, very nice. It's a pretty cool area here. I believe this area is called Juarez, right near um, Roma. And I'm walking to the station in Sevilla. Toledo and Hamburgo. Hamburgo. <laughs> All right, to find met metros here in Mexico City, you look for these signs here. Pink, usually pink, and there was a little squiggly thing. And here's the entrance. All right, guys. guys, I just got out of the station. Pino Suarez and what I'm planning to do look it's pretty cool man now this is what I'm talking about more people in the streets yes what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna walk to the National Palace check it out and then after that I'm gonna go to the largest market in Mexico City which I would assume in all of Mexico because Mexico City is the biggest city in North America so 
I have no idea. Let me know in the comments if that's true. But let's go to the palace, let's go walk around, see what we find. And then to the market, go check that out, yeah? I read in Google that the market's kind of dangerous, beyond safe, and it's near an area called Tepito, which I'm, probably, I'm not gonna go to that area today. Maybe when I come back, maybe when I come back to Mexico City and I'll do that when my channel's bigger and it can afford to buy me a new camera if, it, if I get robbed. Right now, my channel can't buy me a new camera, so I don't know if I want to take that risk yet. <laughs> I know some YouTubers do that, but they have bigger channels than me. Who knows? Anyways, let's go walking. Let's go check it out. Stay tuned. Style right here, guys. This is my style. I love how outside they have all these markets, things for sale, people walking around, food. And the neighborhood I'm staying in right now is a nicer neighborhood. So when it's nicer in Latin America, it means nobody's hurting the streets hardly. But I feed off this energy. Let's go. Check out that beautiful church over here. So pretty. All right, let's go walk. Downtown Mexico City. That's an old building right there. Cool little painting too. Very cool. Guys, check this out. I'm not sure if you can see it. But you see the, uh, hold on, I'm just pointing out real quick. One second. You see the, the cannons, these little poles right here? Those are cannons. There's little things sticking out. That's awesome. Huh. This is, what building is this? Aquí esto la casa de Lick. Juan Primo de Cortes. Ah, it's the cousin of uh, Cortes. Fue construido por los condes de Santiago de Calimaya in 1779. Not bad. Cool, the cousin of, uh, of Cortes, the conquistador who came here to basically take control of this whole land. And they had to have those for reasons because I'm pretty sure he wasn't well liked over here. <laughs> Anyways, let's carry on. Interesting. Museo de la Ciudad de México. My bet that's interesting inside. And they're touching up the uh, the fading. It's a lot of work. Usted hace eso to por todo el edificio. Por todo el edificio hace eso. Pintando. Sí. 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 Mucho trabajo. Algo. <laughs> Algo. <laughs> Gracias. Ah, they're, they're doing the uh, doors too. Very cool. Look at that. Working hard. Buenas. <laughs> Very cool. There it is. Look at this church. It's so pretty. I'm kind of, I kind of wish I would just came out here anyways without doing the research on Google. That was my first mistake. I spent so much time researching on Google. I spent like an hour or two hours and on Google Maps and I got to stick to my style and just get out of the house and walk around and discover, you know? What is this? Peleteria, which is ice cream. I have no idea what that what peleteria is. No. Huh. What is peleteria? Tell me. Alright, let's go. Here's the Supreme Court of Mexico. Right there where all the lays are made, I guess, all the laws. <laughs> Very cool. It's beautiful here. Yeah, Suprema Corte de Justicia de la La Nación. There it is. And then we have hey, hey, we have the eagle with the snake. And basically the story behind this is they were traveling. They were traveling until they found a lake with an eagle standing on top of a cactus holding a snake. And that was a sign that they were looking for as their promised land. The Aztecs, of course. And then the Aztecs developed their, their city here based on their, their leyenda or legend of the cactus with the eagle, with the serpent, with the snake in his mouth. There you go. And below us is most likely the lakes that used to be here, but was covered over by this massive city. What do y'all think? Check this out guys, this is so beautiful. This could be in Europe, for example. There's the National Palace of Mexico. I've never seen this before. I'm actually happy I came over here. I was, I was thinking of not walking this way and going straight to the market. But of course, I love history. I'm Mexican heritage. And seeing this is really, it's really interesting for me. Really nice. Very, very nice. Beautiful. 
Am I allowed to walk over there? Yes, I am. That guy's decked out, man. That's awesome. All right, let's go in the middle. So I don't know if y'all can see it from here, but there's the palace. Huh. All right, guys. This is it. I'm not sure I want to walk all the way over there. It's far. So I'm going to go this way to the market. Not sure if there's going to be a second video or the same video. Who knows? But I'll go to the biggest... The biggest market in Mexico City. Go see what they have to offer. Y'all stay tuned for that. Just imagine guys, these guys had to sweep, mop and sweep this whole entire thing. That is hard work. You guys want to burn calories and make money at the same time? Join these guys. Cause uh, huh, who needs uh, the gym and the, and the treadmill if you're going to be sweeping and mopping this whole thing. That's insane. All right guys, I think this is a better angle with the Mexican flag behind me, flying in the wind, the Mexican National Palace. Isn't that beautiful? Huh, what do you guys think? What do you guys think? Check it out. Beautiful. All right guys, so now we're gonna walk towards the largest uh, market in Mexico City, coming from the National Palace. Go in that direction. Now they say it's dangerous. Let's go see how dangerous it is. Let's see if they have good food. I don't care about danger, I care about good food. <laughs> Actually, I do care about danger because I get robbed. I have to buy a new camera, that would suck. Very good, she sang very beautifully. And I wanted to give her something. Very nice. Check out this massive chicharron, that's crazy. And then this, what's that, chicken? Huh, it's a nice place. Huh. This is what I'm talking about, guys. This is the movement I was looking for. This is what I crave. I love it. Get out, guys, man. It's a big market over here. Nice, hey, hey. <laughs> Very cool. So we're in the Zona Historica, the historic zone of Mexico City. As you can see this old building here. Estamos en calle Corregidora Josefa Ortiz de Dominguez, Jesús María. That's where we're located right now. <laughs> this street has been full of stores of tapestry. I guess a lot of, well, many people still make their own clothes and that kind of stuff. And like for example, hola. For example, over here as well, tapestry. Very cool. Is this gay the plan? See this plan? Elentina. Look at that beautiful this guy, it's so beautiful. Cien pesos nomás? Cien pesos. I don't know how much hundred pesos is, I gotta look it up. Let me see, one second. So I looked it up. Cien pesos is like five bucks. Five bucks I can get a lunch, almost get a lunch here. No, thank you. Plus, when I heard uh, 100 pesos, I think in Colombian pesos. 100 pesos, 100 pesos in Colombia is nothing. So I thought it was super cheap, but no, no, thank you. I can have a jello somewhere else. <laughs> Check it out, guys. We got candy. He goes, I guess, figs. Very nice. Very cool. Gracias. This is. Yes, this one. Perdón, disculpa. ¿Eso es qué? ¿Pescado? ¿Salado? Sí. ¿Y se come así o tiene que cocinar? Sí. Ajá. Uh -huh. Have you guys ever seen that? Salted fish. Pero no tiene que congelar. Sí, está bien. ¿Y cuánto tiempo se aguanta así? Meses. ¿Meses? Sí. Ah, muy interesante. Igual con ese, salados. Sí. Ajá, ese es shrimp, guys, shrimp. Muy bien, gracias. Mi amable. Here's uh, cinnamon. Hmm. My mom would always have a stick of cinnamon to cook with and also to, to make the room smell nice. All right, let's go. Hey right, guys, now we're entering the section called Candelaria. And to me, I think La Candelaria is always the older section of the city. Let me know if that's true in the comments because, uh, for example, in Bogota, the section Candelaria is like the oldest part of the city. So. And this looks pretty old, doesn't it? Like an old Mexican pueblo. 
All you need is some more bars. <laughs> but I'm still, I'm looking for the market. I'm still searching for the market Merced. Market Merced. And we're gonna go walk around that market. Yeah, stay tuned. Check out this old building here. Very cool. I had to get some water, guys. It's like maybe in the sun, maybe like 85 degrees dry heat. In the shade, probably about 70. So the weather's great, but stay in the heat too long, it gets you, right? And I've walked a lot today already. Taking a break, and then I carry on to the market. Stay tuned. Check this out, guys. You see it right here? Right here? That's a cactus. Cactus grow everywhere here in Mexico, my God. <laughs> That's probably why they eat it too. No palas, delicious. All right, there you go. Right across the street, all this is El Mercado Merced. Let's go walk inside and see what we, what we discover, yeah? Here we go, guys. Where you come to find cheap or inexpensive clothing and pretty much anything you want. Look at that. Yeah. So, in, the, in Texas, we call this La Pulga. I'm pretty sure they say the same thing here in Mexico. My dad used to have a stall in, um, in La Pulga con uh, in El Paso. So this brings back good memories. So I, uh, back there, when I had the camera, I heard someone say con cuidado, which means be careful. So who knows if this place is dangerous or not, I have no idea. Let me know in the comments. We were on the outside of the market. I think that's the inside. So let's go inside the market, see what, what we have inside. So see what, what they're to find. Oh nice. Look at this, all these chilies, man. Look at that. So cool. All these spices. So much fruit and vegetables here. This is crazy. So now the person told me to put the camera away, to make, you know, but like to be careful. But I'll try to be as very, very careful as I go. Hmm. This market is massive. It goes way over there. Crazy. I've never smelled so much garlic in my life. Look at all this garlic. It's all garlic. Wow, why not? Aquí no vienen vampiros para nada. Vampiros no. No se acerca. Muy muy bueno. No sabía que hay tantos de ajo distintos. Son diferentes, no? Wow. So look at all these different ones, guys. Gracias. Huh. Check out these different mushrooms. All different kinds of mushrooms. Hmm. What kind of herb is that? I never... I don't smell anything. Interesting. Huh. What else? ¿Cómo se llama ese? ese? Romeritos. Romero. Ah, okay, Romero. Para hacer revoltijo con mole. Ah, muchas gracias. Ah, perfecto. Gracias. There you go. <laughs> For all my chefs out there, huh? Interesting. Oh, now we're to the meat. ¿Cómo se llama esa? ¿Cómo se llama esa? Zeta. Sí. Zeta, Zeta, Zeta. Zeta, bacano. ¿Y este, perdón? Ah, okay. Gracias. Wow, looks so interesting. So another difference I noticed uh, between Mexico and Colombia. In Colombia, every single person would say a la orden, a la orden. Here, not many people. Sometimes they say. Eh, que necesitas patrón, you know, cosas así. But here, no. Not much. Must be the toughest job in the world. Ese no se pone, no te pone a llorar con eso. No, ya estás acostumbrado. Sí. <laughs> bueno, gracias. Wow, I couldn't do that job. I'll be crying all the time. <laughs> Alright guys, so I got, I got directions from a, a nice a nice guy. He said, go to the door eight. And that's where you get the food, because I'm hungry. So let's go. Here we go, casinos. Huh. Try your luck, huh? There we go. Now the cactus, nopales. Very cool. Oh, nice. And this is mole. This is como chocolate, si or no? Mole, chocolate. Perdón. Con chile. Con chile. Ah, que rico. Guys, I love chicken con mole. Pollo con mole. Mm. Guys, check it out. That's how you clean off the 
se, como se limpian los, las espinas, ¿sí o no? Las espinas lo quitan así. Sí. Y si, si no quita todo. Por lo regular son todas. Ah, bueno. <risa> si, no, si, no si come una espina, muy mal, ¿no? Sí. Ah, muy bien. Very good. Gracias. <laughs> Who would do this job, man? Get this, the, the thorns in your fingers. But those, are, those are so good, man, with beans. Alright guys, so what they do say here is they say ¿Cuántas joven? ¿Cuántas joven? Which means how many uh, young men? And what they're doing is they're assuming the sale. Sí, eso es muy bueno que ustedes dicen ¿Cuántas joven? Porque ustedes están esperando que voy a comprar. Eh, muy bien. Eh, muy bien, me gusta. Gracias. So they're assuming the sale, and that's like rule number one in sales. <laughs> Very cool. Así se trata la gente, los clientes acá en México. Muy bien. Ah, los, los, the, the cactus they smell so good. So this nice young lady here is helping me find the uh, the food to eat. She's my guide today. Go outside. Just following my lead, following her lead. Ah, okay, gracias. Everybody's so nice here. Gracias. Okay, muchas gracias. She said that nada. <laughs> so, hold on, let's find a place. There we go, comida corrida. I want to walk around a little bit and see what they have. And then make the choice. Gracias. Let's see. So it's like most places are closed. Hopefully not because of the pandemic. Oh, nice. So most markets like this around the world, mostly in Latin America and probably most around the world, they have places to eat too. So that's what I like. Oh, nice. Huh? Oh, nice. Ay, gracias. I forget. Here in Mexico they call me Guerito or Güero. In Colombia they call me Mono. <laughs> huh. That's where they make the tostadas. Very cool. There it is right there again, fried. Huh. Very cool. Pues, buenas. ¿Y qué tienen para comer hoy? Bolitos a la mexicana. Ah, huevos a la mexicana. Ah, ok. Chicharrón en salsa verde. Interesante. Bueno, gracias. Voy, voy a seguir buscando y... Gracias. Buenas. Ah, la música, no. Ah, voy para acá. Rica pancita. I think I'm gonna try this place. I'll get this place, I'll show you guys what, what I choose. All right guys, so here's the big menu right here, all the options. And I asked her, I said, what's the best one? She said, everything. Dijiste todo, ese no me ayuda. Ah, bueno. Me dice que las enchaladas muy buenos. Sí. Sí. Okay. Y acá ese, ese de 30 mil viene con qué? ¿Con todo eso? Sí, con sopa, arroz. Ah, es como el menú del día. Sí. Ah, bien. Entonces, I'm going to look at the menu of the day, guys, and I'll be right back. Guys, so I'm getting the saude, saudero, sudero, with papas, and morita, for 30 pesos. Seguro que sí, está, es muy bueno. Sí. Ah, bueno, dale. ¿Y qué, con qué de bebida? ¿Qué viene de, de tomar? ¿Qué jugo es esa? Piña. Piña. La piña, porfa. 
Alright guys, stay tuned. Vamos a ver. Le va a enseñar. Sopa. Sopa de pasta. Ajá, entonces ahorita te enseño un poco. Yo de Texas. Texas. Hey. ¿Y consume de qué? Es de pollo con verdura. Pollo de verdura. Hmm. Este es consumir de verdura. Yo quiero esa. Consume, sí, porfa. Gracias. They're very nice. They're very nice so far. <laughs> Hopefully I have enough bacteria in my belly to keep me from getting sick. Esas tortillas son mías. Ah, okay, gracias. Y calientes. Ah, perfecto. <laughs> huh. So I hope I hope I have like I was saying, I hope I have enough bacteria in my belly to withstand this food. Not saying that it's not good, it's just that every country has different bacteria, and if you go there without the right bacteria in your belly, you can get sick, right? So we got these chips right here. Let's see. Hmm? Gracias. I just ate this salsa. It's very spicy. Es el mío también. Sí. Perfecto. Gracias. Got who a peña. Look at this. All this for me. <laughs> it's hilarious. Mm. Let's try. All right, they gave me the alcohol. I put my hands. One second. All right, guys. So let's try the soup. The consomme. Consomme de pollo. Wow. Almost broke the table. Casi lo quebré. Casi lo quebré. It's good. It's good. It reminds me of my mom's chicken soup. Chicken consomme. Mmm. Delicious. With cabbage, carrots, and potato. Mm. I'm telling y'all, I've been eating so many tacos the past six days. I'm tired of tacos. This really hits the spot. And it's bad, it sucks that I have to leave. Like I'm in the, the rich area of, of Mexico City. And the most restaurants are like gourmet, super expensive, or international, or whatever, very right? fancy. I just want this. This is what I want. And I have to go across the city to find this. Next time I come to Mexico City, I'll stay closer to this area. Mm. Even though I like the park I'm nearby where I go run. Chapultec, Chapultec. Mm. <clears throat> so I just did the conversion. 30 pesos a dollar 49 USD. That's what I'm talking about. That's the kind of price I'm gonna be spending for food. Pero puede puede estar con el plato fuerte. Con el Sí, porfa. Ajá, sí. Eh, sudado. Sudado. No, eh, ¿dónde está la carta? Eh, ah, perdón, sudero. Suadero. Eso. Suadero. <laughs> so what they do is they give you the rice. Here in Mexico City, they give you the rice by itself. And you eat the rice by itself. But I want this with the beans, all that good stuff mixed together. So I find it very strange to eat the rice by itself. What do you guys think? <laughs> usted, ustedes comen arroz solo, así. ¿Y por qué? Sí. Ah, a mí me gusta con los, con los frijoles y todo. Hey. <laughs> I have no idea. I got three rice for me. <laughs> I don't know. I'm confused, guys. I saw. Gracias. Here we go. So here's the. Here's the suadero, suadero with very little beans and the rice. And what I'm gonna do, put the rice in there. Yes. Mix it all up. Eso. <laughs> That's how I like it. 
All right. The last time I had, I ate in a restaurant like this, I had the rice by itself. I did what everybody does, which I normally do when I eat in a different country. But I like the rice mixed up, personally. Hmm. I'm gonna get the tacos, tortilla. Hope this music doesn't come out and mess up the. Was it the film, the video? Make a little taco. Got a little taco going on. Hmm. Some salsa. I put too much salsa. They're hard working. Mm. What salsa spicy? Mm. What do you think about this video so far? Alright guys, I'm gonna finish the meal. I'll be right back. kind of music I like. Guys, it didn't seem like much food, but I'm completely cool. I think it's because I ate a bunch of tortillas and the chips too. <laughs> but I'm cool, man. Holy cow. Anyways, I already paid. Now I'm gonna head back to the metro, go home. If I see anything interesting in the way, I'll turn the camera on. If I don't, I'll see you next video. I have no idea. We'll see. Guys, check out this fruit here. Why oh, nice. Wow, I never seen anything like that. Just Wow, guaraches. <laughs> Interesting. That guy didn't want to talk at all. But anyways, I'll continue. Yes, man, they got old work trucks here too. Very cool. So yeah, walking on the outside of the, of the market. Now I'm going inside to get to the metro station. They told me to come in and walk straight. Now I'll get to the metro. So let's see if we actually find it. This part of the market is going down. Hmm. All right, let's keep walking straight, see if we can get there. It's like a maze here. This place is massive, guys. You gotta be here to understand how big this place is, really. It's massive. Everything you need here. Huh. Yeah, I'm still in the maze, guys. Now it's solo salida. So I gotta go left or right? Go right, go right. <laughs> all the knives you need. Look at all this, guys. It's crazy. Huh. All the stuff for cooking. Buenas. Ah, demasiado. I feel like a bull in a china shop, man. I already hit like t like three of these pots, man. All right, let's keep going. Check out these boots for 250 pesos. Not bad. Gracias. All right, I think I'm close to getting to the exit. I'm thinking I'm making it. <laughs> it's crazy. If you guys come here without speaking Spanish, no hope. 
because I've been asking a few people how to get around, but even then, you know, oof. Learn Spanish, number one tip. Guys, they even have a hotel in this, mar in this market. That's crazy. That's how big this market is, if they have a, their own hotel. <laughs> I wonder what they do in that hotel. All right, guys, I made it out of the maze, and I think I'm going the right direction for the metro. We'll see. All right, guys, I passed the metro. I came out on the streets. I have to go back into the maze to find it because it's within the, the market. This is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Now, I got directions again, and they told me to go straight and to the right. So we'll see this, if I can follow directions. I'm usually really good. I don't get lost that easy, but this park is massive, guys. Massive. First sign. Metro. Entrada. <laughs> si <or no? laughs> Alright, we're making it. I've never seen a metro station inside of a market before. It's crazy. They have a hotel and they also have their own metro station. Huh. Entrada. Estamos bien. <laughs> We got it guys, we made it to the metro, yes, yes I made it, I came through the maze, alright let me go buy a ticket and I'll be back, actually I might see you in the next video, I have no idea, if something interesting happens I'll, I'll turn the camera on, if it doesn't, see you next video. I might see an elevator in the metro and it's blocked off, so for the people who in wheelchairs or whatever, no other choice but to take the stairs, that sucks. <laughs> 